Hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Postal Pleasures. This will be episode 9 of German Stamps from the Goodwill Bag 1. Uh, I think there's just two videos left and this one's fairly short. I didn't want to cram them. Looks like we have uh, several sets of definitives here from uh, West Berlin. Um, if they look familiar, if you're familiar with uh, West German stamps, um, pretty much they're the exact same designs, at least I haven't been through the pile, but I assume they are, um, as, as what you're used to seeing in West Germany. Um, but we know they're from um, the West Berlin zone uh, because of the added word Berlin, and often the font is a little bit smaller, so it can accommodate the additional word Berlin. So Berlin, Berlin, Berlin. Pretty exciting to find these. Uh, they look like they're mint, but I haven't been through them all yet. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I see. Let's see. I'm just t turning it in the light a little. I don't see any hinge uh, remnant whatsoever, or 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 gum disturbance. So I'd say these are most likely all full mint. I'm not going to bother turning them all over. Let's just go on that assumption. So uh, again, a quick video. So let's dig in and see where we land. Um, I will. I don't know, I guess I'll start in the regular corner, but I'm going to, you know what, there's going to, I think I see four groups here. I'm going to work across, and I know 140 comes towards the end, so let's start it over there. 150, uh, so the first one looks like some kind of um, power uh, reactor or something like that. And this one looks like a um, tracked excavator. And let's see, a 190, so another tracked excavator, different. Oh, you know what, and uh, this happens sometimes when they're so nicely packed. I often find, I, in one of my videos, I found 10 or more extra stamps at the end of the video uh, that were hidden, and I don't usually go back and record those. So I'm glad I caught this one now. This one looks like some kind of um, chemical processing. Of course, the Michelle catalog will help sort them out. Let's see, a 180, so this is a, a wheeled um, bucket loader, if you will. And uh, the 5 is a satellite, that's going to be our first one. But we have something underneath of it. And it can go over here in this top corner. We'll readjust these as necessary. And a 10. These are probably in order from this point forward. Now, at least in West Germany, there's a 500. We'll see if we get up that high. 10, uh, 10 being a tram or, or a tram car, train car. Um, and then this looks like, uh, it almost looks like an airport tower. And then the 30 is a helicopter. Great colors on these, really bold. Um, I'm just going to reach back and use another pair of tongs with these. Bear with me a moment. That way I don't touch them. There we go. A space shuttle. And the 50 is a satellite dish. 60. Um, some kind of robotic ar armature. I'm not sure exactly what it is. That's just my best guess. And then it looks like a uh, ship's hull under design, maybe. And then we have the backside of uh, a wheeled excavator, it appears. 100 is a uh, saw blade, it looks like. And uh, let's try to tighten these up. Look at that. Um, I'm pretty impressed. It's a, I'd love to have a full run here. This would be fantastic. I'm not sure if I have every one of these already in my Berlin collection. Um, I certainly have some of them, but uh, I don't think I've ever gotten this many all at once. So uh, really neat finding this here, uh, especially at Goodwill. Uh, this looks like a television camera at 110. Uh, I think we're going to have to wrap... Um, so let's just let's just start wrapping uh, at 100 then. So 110, 130. I'm surprised there's not a 120. Maybe we'll discover one. 140, 50, 60, 
80, 90, 200, 230, and I guess I forgot to mention what some of these were. Um, this looks like I have some kind of um, still or other chemical container. Um, let's see here. This looks like an oil drilling rig, airport. Uh, 250 looks like an airport as well. I have something under that one. Uh, 300 looks like a monorail transit. And 500 is the satellite, and we did get to a 500. Um, I would have guessed there was a 120, but we seem so complete that maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm just wrong. But really, I mean everything up, and there's no 170 either. So if we're missing some. It could be the 120 and the 170, if those actually exist. Um, great run, though. That's really fantastic. Uh, let's see. And uh, you know what? I've made it so you can't see those well. So I'm going to cheat and uh, move the platform I'm working on instead of trying to move stamps again. So there you go. We can see them now. And let's see. We'll do uh, the series next. And I don't know where we're going to start numbers here. So we have, um, I guess, famous landmarks um, of, of Germany. I'm not going to tr try to uh, pronounce them all, but, uh, you know, is there two there? Yeah, there was. Okay, and we may have just found one. We did. We have our 120. Yeah, so I'll move that up there. That up there. And before we go on, we're going to see, is there anything doubled around here? No. And no. Okay, well maybe there is no 170. So back to these, we have 30. I'll leave some space, I don't know where those actually start. This one I can at least say is Hamburg. sure I have two here. I do. 140. 300. 350. And at least in West Germany, the higher the denomination, uh, usually the higher the value, uh, catalog value of the stamp. So uh, that 350 could be pretty decent. Um, I love the design, so that's really what matters most to me. Okay, here, 50. A 60. Here we go, 5. That's going to be our smallest one. Wonderful lion head statue. You know, if we'll pull those down. And here we have a 10. I can get my hands on it. There we go. Airport. And, uh, what is this? A Nefertiti. Queen Nefertiti of Egypt. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, the we'll go 50, no, actually I'm jumping ahead again, putting these in order, again, 30, 40, uh, 50, 60, 70, let's see, 80, there we go, um, we will stop it there because I'm not seeing any more of this series. And we're going to go to famous women. And on that note, um, I know I've mentioned this in a few other videos, but not everybody watches every video. Uh, I'm really hoping to start a uh, Women on Stamps series. Uh, I'm going to call it Women Wednesdays and try to release them every Wednesday. And the reason I haven't started already is that I want to get um, quite a few made first because can't always commit to making a video um, in time for a Wednesday every week. Um, so I want to have a, a, a catalog ahead that I can just release as needed. Uh, but I think it's going to be a fun series, and I, I think there's um, far more um, women philatelists or stamp collectors than uh, people may think. Um, YouTube tells me with my statistics 
um, although I think its statistics are fairly uh, fairly um, uh, maybe inaccurate or incomplete in this area that um, you know most of the viewers of the channel are male um, but I think that's uh, maybe not a statistic they have out of every visitor um, but I would say that many most of my commenters um, are most likely female um, so uh, you know and maybe that's just a function of maybe females are more likely to comment uh, I don't want to overanalyze it I certainly appreciate all my viewers but um, you know, I think uh, the perception is that, uh, what's the saying, uh, philatelist has historically been uh, male, pale, and stale, uh, to make a funny rhyme out of it. Um, in any case, I'm laying these out as I talk, but I will go back through and try to name uh, most of these women, if I can pronounce their names. Sorry, finicky to separate, and I don't know. If they were in order, that would make it even easier, but that's fine. So let's uh, let's see what we have. We have, um, and I, I apologize if I get these wrong, but part of it is being able to see it, and then the rest is being able to pronounce it. Uh, silly, awesome, uh, Maria, Sibla, Moran, Christine Tush, maybe, and Dorothea um, Rexplin, Clara Schumann, a little easier there. Let's see, the 100 is Therese um, Gleese, yeah, I might have butchered that one. Um, Liza Meet Meetner 140 is uh, Cecil Voigt. Uh, let's see, we have a 5 that I've neglected to put in the proper place and a 10. Um, so, as not to have to move these, I will leave them out of order. On the 5, Paula Modershon Bex Bexter. Oh, that's right, that was the 10, I apologize. On the 5, Emma Iyer. I have two here. Let me separate these. So the 170 is Hannah Ardent. 180, um, Lot Lehman. And then I'll move with these here. Uh, the 250, Louis von Prussian, Mathilde, Franzke, um, um, uh, I'm embarrassing myself. I should not have uh, talked myself into doing this. Uh, Alice Solomon. See, when I do the focused videos later, I can actually study the pronunciations. Hedwig um, Transfield. Really, really nice. I can't decide which one's my favorite design. Possibly the very first one, although I like the color used on that one. But all wonderful stamps. Okay, so now we are into, I think this is Castles here. Um, and uh, let me just lay a couple out before I start putting them in order, maybe. Hopefully these aren't stuck now, they're just like surface tension. That's good. So, uh, 40, a couple 50s. 60, 60, 70, 10. Can't remember if there's a 5 in this series, so I'm going to go looking for it before we start laying them out in order. Just make a mess first. 40, 80. It looks like it's a 3 series, okay. So this will be the final series here in this video today. 200. Okay, so it looks like the 10 was the earliest. And these are incredibly fine. I mean, the detail in them is incredible. It's just uh, really nice line art. You know what? I might have run out of space there. I'm going to work top down this way. So uh, we'll go here. 10, 20. Uh, I had a 30 somewhere. 30. Oh, no, 25. Look at that. Sneaking in there. 25. 
25. What do we think? 3 wide? Yeah, 3 wide's good. And then the 30. Uh, uh, looks like we have two 40s, so I'll put this one first. And then this one. Uh, they would have been released at different times, is what happens there. Um, 50, I believe. Yeah, 50. Plus another 50. And then a 60. Wow, look at that. And another 60. And then the 70. Oh, I missed a 35. So, what do we do here? We move everything ahead. Just because I really want to get these laid out correctly. Not as correctly as possible without getting a catalog out. Uh, there's not two stamps there, are there? No. And there's 35. I'm sure some of you watching the video is like, you forgot the 35. Uh, 80. 90. I am surprised there's not a 100. Uh, but I don't think I recall a 100, so I guess that makes sense. A 120. Wow, that's nice. I don't think I've seen that. There's definitely some in this set I do not have. Likely some in all the sets. But, uh, oh, we have an extra one here that I overlooked. 300. Wonderful. So we're at 120. Now we go to 190. It's a bit of a jump. Uh, from 190 to 200 to 10. We're going to squeeze all these in. Yeah, just perfect here. 230 to 80 and 300. Wonderful. Uh, I am incredibly pleased with these. I hope uh, this was fun for you. Um, in, in addition, if you wait another moment, I will put these in uh, in slideshow order uh, so you can see them one last time. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, this was episode 9. Uh, coming up soon will be episode 10, and I think that is our final episode from this bag of German stamps from Goodwill. I'll probably follow that with uh, some more uh, short uh, smaller bags uh, because uh, you know 10 videos in a row is uh, is a challenge it's a lot of work um, and I certainly have a ton of time still to put these away um, but it's been fun and I hope you've enjoyed them <laughs>